try that first. When you stand up, go ahead and tighten it down. When you stand up. In that. Two things you do before you climb a pole. Check the birthmark. What does the birthmark tell you? How deep it is in the dirt. Second thing you do is sound test the pole at the ground line. That's why you got your hammer. What you're gonna do with that hammer is at ground line level, you're gonna hit it two or three times on this side, two or three times on this side. Check, see if it's right. Hit it. Before you climb a pole here, you will do two things. You will check a birthmark and you will sound it or you'll regret it. This is firm foundational stuff and we'll talk about it, all right? Everybody good? Yes, sir. All right, everybody sounded their pole. I set these poles. I know they're all about six, seven foot deep. It's 35 foot poles you're on. What I want you to do, put your buck squeeze on the pole. I want you to try to leave your feet, not in the pole, but just in the wood chips at the base of the pole as if you were standing on it. All right, green strap all the way out. Don't move your feet. You have to get the weight out of it. All right, green strap back up. What you're gonna wanna do when you're climbing is, you wanna roll your wrist up, up, and then down. So that's gonna look like this. Out and up, step, step. Out and up, step, step, out and up, step, step, out and up. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Just like climbing those steps. When you're coming down, you're going to go out and down. Out and down. That's what happens when you get fat right there. The more gas bury up. Questions? Good job, good job with your leg. One lock, one man. Beautiful. Just gotta get that out and up. Take another step up. Just like Tommy said. Out and up. Good. That's pretty dang good. Let's come to the dirt. Lock and drop, really slow. Here's the deal. 
Y'all want to go to the top? Keep that close, right? So what we'll do, we'll go to the top one at a time. Very good.